evolutionists claim that the earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that it was all created 6,000 years ago. That there was a flood of Noah covering the entire earth only about 4,500 years ago, which buried many plants and animals, causing the fossils that we see today. Well, let's think. If the earth is really billions of years old, as evolutionists claim, how do you explain that we have actually found flowing blood in a frozen mammoth? Russian scientists have recovered blood from a woolly mammoth that is so well preserved there are hopes of obtaining viable DNA from it. Well, that means it must be young. The blood was in ice cavities below its belly and flowed freely when these were broken with a pick. So this was still liquid blood. Now, the mammoth was believed to be 10 to 15,000 years old according to evolutionary assumptions. However, some evolutionists agree it's maybe only 4,000 years old. The fact that the blood remained liquid, even at sub-zero temperatures, of course, indicates that maybe mammoths had some kind of an antifreeze. Or maybe they were simply uh, only buried 4,500 years ago. That seems more reasonable to me. This was reported in Nature magazine back in 2013, the single highest scientific journal in the world for evolutionists. And if the Earth is billions of years old, how do you explain that lightning strikes erode mountains? You know, we normally think of ice and snow and rain eroding mountains, but actually lightning strikes are a major component of the erosion of mountains. You see, powerful explosions that occur when lightning hits material causes them to then break apart and, and break apart and break apart into smaller and smaller pieces. However, when we take a look at these materials, in fact, one lightning bolt can create as much as three to 10 cubic meters of rubble well, it shows us that the continents are simply eroding too fast. This was reported, uh, again, in Live Science only in 2013. 